This week on Cartridge Blowers, we help you smell like an apple cinnamon super fighting robot. Our fanfiction self-insert runs against the Republican primary candidates. Superman stays terrible across a three-generation gap. Robin is a horrible murderer, and the Hulk is not nearly as incredible as advertised. Cartridge Blowers, Episode 2, That Hulk Verinito. YNIN Podcasting, part of the EDOC NameLock Interactive Network. Episode 2 for Thursday, July 26, 2012. Bat Hulkarine Nito. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Cartridge Blowers, my and Ian's new show where we give video games a second chance to make a first impression. You can stream it, download, or find show notes, including links to all of the things that we talk about for this and every past and future episode of all Y and Ian podcasts over at yninteract.com. That's yninteractive.com. Hopefully soon you'll be able to subscribe to Cartridge Blowers on iTunes, podcasts, and stuff like that. Um, but we'll see. So, uh, yeah, so I'm Cody Coleman, head administrator over the EDOC NameLock Interactive Network. And with me, as always, is our community administrator of YNIN, as well as of admin of the Voice Acting Alliance, Ms. Nikki Wright. How are you doing? I am so amazing. How are you? I am also so amazing, but awesome. maybe less amazing. I don't know. I, di I didn't just get off of work. so. Man, yeah. nothing is more thrilling than getting off of work and then, you know, doing Imme things like this. So <laughs> Immediately going to second work. Exactly. Yeah. No, that's, that's fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and also with us, we have one of the old co-hosts of Terrible Awful Show and This Week in the Apocalypse, our very good friend, Mr. Dylan Frisbee. How you doing, Dylan? What is up? <laughs> Dylan was not expecting me to cut to him next. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I am yeah. ready to go with my rock star. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we're recording we're recording much later than usual, so uh, uh -huh. Dylan is is kicking it with some energy drinks today. Tantrum. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Uh, also with us, we have All Around Funny Guy, uh, co-host of Stuff Weekly, one of the reviewers over at YNIN, uh, Mr. Matt Krula. How are you? I am. I am. I am. You are? I am. Very nice. Yes. I'm That's glad. very philosophical. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, no, I would just trailed off. <laughs> <laughs> you just stopped paying attention to what we were doing. Yeah. yeah I okay, I understand. I was like, I am... <laughs> I, I am the butterfly. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right, on. So that's a, weird, uh, that's a weird mantra. I am the butterfly. I am the butterfly. <laughs> and I saw the Congo creeping through. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this is episode number two, and uh, awesome. Yeah, we finally released episode number one. I hope everyone has gone to see it. If you have not, um, you can go watch it after you're done with this one. You know, need funny. to watch them in order. It uh, it turned out pretty good. I was I was pleased. Did did you guys get a chance to uh, to all watch it? I, I did. skimmed through it. Yeah, yeah. I skimmed yeah. through it. Just watched right. the parts of me in it. You know. Yeah, understandable. <laughs> <laughs> watched his game. That was about it. All right, that's fine. Um, so uh, yeah, so I you know again wineinteractive.com and you can watch uh, past episodes. Also, it's up on YouTube in, in segments if you just want to watch parts at a time. Uh, so yeah. Um, so has has anyone played anything interesting or have any news they would like to discuss for the show? Oof. I'm really interested to hear what Nikki has to say. Yeah, apparently and Nikki has I am, big news. Oh I am man! Like, did you like? Did you like invent something? I did not. But. <laughs> awesome. But we're kind of gonna talk about inventions. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah. So we're gonna kind of be all stuff weekly about it. I'll pose a hypothetical question to you guys. Ready. Okay. Do you wear cologne? I don't. I don't oh, I know this story. I don't. Good for you. Don't yeah. spoil it. I don't um, know. Okay. Well, <laughs> so if mean. you were to wear a cologne, is there like an ideal <sighs> image you'd want to go for? Like yes. Scent? Like a scent, or you know, when you wear it, do you want to feel like more manly, or you know, super I, tough? Like I yes. Like no, colognes aren't for tough. Colognes are for like. You know, for when you're going to business meetings or to like 
to cool parties where other people are also dressed like the Rat Pack. And, <laughs> you know, that's what cologne is for. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, cool. Great. Awesome. Not Why? anymore. Um, these two dudes, Drake and okay. Andrew, I don't know what their last names are. I don't really care Drake what their Andrew? last names are. Drake and Andrew. Okay. I think it's Drake and Andrew. David. Okay. Awesome journalism right here. <laughs> 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 David and Andrew were like, you know what? We love cologne, but there just isn't no a market. <laughs> These guys did. Cologne bros. <laughs> These guys did. I'm not like, okay. Anyway, <laughs> these guys love cologne. And yeah, they just drink that shit. They, were, they do, and it's disgusting because that probably can kill you. They died. <laughs> and before they died, they were like, what can we do? Because you know what? There just isn't a cologne that caters to this untapped, amazing market that we love so much, video games. <laughs> right. Of course not. Definitely. No. So, so they smell like Cheeto dust. <laughs> <laughs> and mother's basement. <laughs> no. Um, I, I mean, that's probably what they will smell like. Okay. But uh, no, he's, they have decided that they are going to create these scents based off of your favorite video game characters. Up first, obviously, Mega Man. Okay. <laughs> Is it like, Power what, Pellet. Steel? Or I, I don't know. I have no idea. E Mega Man scent is named Cool Rush. Oh, I guess Proto Man is going to have a perfume, and his perfume is called Apple Cinnamon because, you know, well, that doesn't make red. Any sense. <laughs> cool Rush, I get, because his dog's name is Rush, and a robot dog is cool, as we went over on the previous episode. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, Apple Cinnamon? That's not a robot scent. That's, that's the Cheerio flavor. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> um, right now, they're priced at around $3 a piece. And they'll be available in the next two to four weeks. I guess they've partnered up with Capcom, which is what? Um, yeah, I, I guess they needed the license. I, I wasn't aware Capcom cared about the Mega Man franchise. Yeah, <laughs> they pretty much abandoned it. So. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm sure they'll be like, yeah, totally Mega Man scent. Yeah, yeah. Street Fighter <laughs> scent, <laughs> yes. Street Fighter scent would be awful. That it would be like nothing sweat but sweat and blood. And blood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some exactly. people like that. Are women into that? Because, I mean, no. I can cover myself in sweat and blood pretty easy. <laughs> Wait, that sounded terrible. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Anyway, so they'll be available in approximately two to four weeks, and like I said, they'll be about $3. Um, okay. And I'm sure they'll come out with more superheroes in the future, or superheroes, video game stars in the future. Superheroes. So, uh, where can I buy this at? Online? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, like, com. There, there, well, no, EpicSense.com Epic Sense <laughs> only has current offerings. Question mark coming soon. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. No. That's uh, that's kind of like when Burger King came up with its own line of cologne. I uh, know somebody who has that. No, you don't. Yes, no I do. <laughs> You're yes, not friends with them believe. anymore, are you? <laughs> I'm sorry, say that again? Are you friends with them still? Oh, I haven't talked to them in a long time. But oh. I know him, yeah. Rightfully so, yeah. <laughs> well, no, yeah. I, I heard that his girlfriend got it for him as a gift because she, quote-unquote, knows him better than anyone else. And I was like, oh. Oh, so you want to smell... We can't be friends anymore. <laughs> you smell flame broiled, sir. Oh wait a minute! Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is cool. Okay, so um, as the scents themselves go, Mega Man's Cool Rush is the result of the perfumers <laughs> attempting to capture quote capture the essence of a boy put into a man's role. What the fuck um, does that smell like? Um, <laughs> it smells like product placement. There is a purity in him. Like he has a real pure heart, Kevin Hart. Something the police said. would raid your house for. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but there is also masculinity and braver, bravery. Meanwhile, Proto Man gets apple cinnamon, which is, quote, kind of spicy because he's a bit of a rebel. That's dumb. You're dumb. <laughs> so he'll pretty much me. smell like those, like, Loganberry Christmas candles. <laughs> yes, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Spicy candles are dumb. Spicy candles? Yeah, you never smelled those? Go to like your local, you know, world market. 
where ladies buy their candles. <laughs> all right. Just shove candles <laughs> in your face all day. Sure. Yeah. All right. Um, well, that's disturbing. I'm I'm glad. You that... don't want to smell like Mega Man? I I. <laughs> When I was a kid, I wanted to grow up to be Mega Man. This is step well, one. Well, this will help you. This is for you, Matthew. <laughs> yeah, this is it. I'm just going to take that and just all over. Bathe go it out in. and shoot people. Mm. <laughs> so you steal man. their weapons. And steal their <laughs> weapons. <laughs> or cars, whatever. Well, that's, no, that's, that's, for, that's for Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Ah, of course. Yeah. yeah. All right, um... We should probably move forward. Do you guys want to go ahead and get into the new crap? Let's do it. Sure. All right. So, uh, yeah, before we take a dive into the past, let's take a look forward into the new crap. Dive into the past. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Um, right to this junk. That would be me. Uh, <laughs> Fired. July 30th, uh, we will get Rune Legend, which is coming out for Windows, Mobile, Android, and the Xbox 360. Um, then that's it for July 30th. No. Yes. The day before my birthday gets a fucking game that sounds shitty. Great. Well, awesome. July Fantastic. July 31st has a few new games. So oh, your your yeah. birthday. Yeah. Oh, cool. There's uh, Sunflowers coming out for the Vita. Um, oh man, I've been waiting so long for Sunflowers. Yeah, it looked I like a it looked like a, uh, a a puzzle game where you play the sun and you shoot rays at clouds to cause rain to fall onto the flowers so that the flowers could grow. Which I that's not how the sun works, but. <laughs> That's okay, uh, but if you if you get the flowers directly with your sunlight, they catch on fire and die. So, so you're just like the, you're the angry sun from Mario Three. Yes, yes. He finally got his own game. Only he okay, smiles cool. now. Yeah. Gotcha. And um, two scoops of raisins. <laughs> yeah, two two scoops of of fire apparently. Okay. Um. So yeah, so uh, then we also get Final Fantasy Dimensions coming out for the iOS uh, system. Isn't which that, is a, it's, a new, it's a new game, isn't it? It it's is, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a completely new Final Fantasy game, uh, retro-styled. Uh, and the game is from a translation from an episodic Japanese series. Oh, um, wait a minute, I have, I, I, okay, I've seen screenshots from that. It looks like an RPG Maker game. Kind of, yeah, yeah. but RPG Maker games look like early Final Fantasy games. Yeah, but this looks like it was actually made in RPG Maker, like tiles. And everything. <laughs> it it may have been. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, it's uh, there are 13 episodes total that will be released, and each plays about three hours. So I hope the last episodic expensive. game that Final Fantasy did worked out so well. They was, did other episodic series. Yeah, they did uh, Final Fantasy IV: The After Years, which is a sequel to Final Fantasy IV. Um, really? And, yeah, they did. It was released episodically for the Wii and mobile phones. Uh, in Japan or in, in America, we only got the Wii version. Um, then eventually, it was collected for PSP, and uh, it was bad. Really, was real bad. It was really well, bad. That's yeah. too bad. It was. It was like it was. Man, it was like fan fiction central. It was like okay, so every character had kids with cool names, and they had kids with each other. The kids go on adventures, and they're my new original characters. And the other characters are there too, but my new original characters way better. <laughs> so much cooler. I thought I actually thought about adding a segment to the show called uh, Fan Fiction Theater, where we where we would act out fan fiction. <laughs> Dude, that would have been hilarious. There's still time. I mean, we, we could... can still do that, like once every four episodes or something. Yeah, well, one one week uh, every now and then we'll 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 sit down and and read fun. Uh, fan fictions. So. Yes, please. Oh, that that's sounds genius. incredible. Why didn't you tell us about this? What are you doing? Is this now on the air? I just I just thought about it like the other day. Oh, I'm like, that's, that's awesome. a genius idea. It is. It'll take, it'll take forever. <laughs> okay, so? moving on. Uh, the 3DS is getting missed. And what? Yeah. Like missed. the mom game. The what? The mom game. Yeah. Yeah. Missed the game for moms. Yeah, the game for moms. The uh, the the. Weird puzzle game that has very little happen. Game. Yeah, well, it's getting yet another release. So why? Why do people play that? It is like boredom on a disc, except it, now on a cartridge. It was a, it's a, it was a full motion video game that, uh, yeah, 
Anyway, um, the PC, and normally we don't do PC-only games in the new crap unless we're just running low on stuff to talk about. This one seems so weird. It's called The Political Machine 2012. In this game, you play as Barack Obama or any of this election's Republican primary candidates. Uh, or you can make your own. You tackle topical issues such as the economy, Afghanistan, Obamacare, and various other things on a national level, and during your campaign trail, you'll tackle regional issues like right to work, state minimum wage, and others. In the end, you will either become president or you will fail. So, yeah. wait, you can create your own presidential candidate. Yeah. So it's or, like or you can play an presidential election 2012 fan it's a, <laughs> kind of. It's a simulator game. I actually I'm played the one from Sue 08. President? Hell yes. <laughs> is is it a woman president? Come on. Fuck you. <laughs> Come on. Um, but no, no. I played. I played uh, the the first presidential machine, which I think was either 08 or 04, and okay. uh, it was really cool. Um, I mean, if you're into, you know, I mean, this. It it's not really game. Like, I mean, you don't walk around or anything. It's, you know, it's clicking and, you know... It's... It sounds a little, like, civilization yeah. 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 Except there's not, like... It's not even really a map. Yeah. Yeah, it's just sort of, you know, click on menus and, and see what happens. I mean, it, it, it's like Real Lives or any other simulator type game like that. And, and it was fun for what it was. Um, and I, the best part about it was, I don't know if they continued it into this new one, um, but I'm pretty sure you could pick from, like, you could have George Washington running against the modern oh, really? political candidates. That's yeah. incredible. It, it, it didn't mention that. It mentioned, yeah. like, Mitt Romney and Ron uh, Paul and, and <laughs> right. all the I mean, other. No, just, have, just having Abraham Lincoln running against the modern guys was just really funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> on. That's what I did. Um... Also, we get uh, Double Dragon Neon for the Xbox 360 and PS3, which is... Uh, a remake? It kind of. It's, it's, uh, they called it an homage and tribute to that style of game and the 80s. And uh, it's this side-scroller, beat-em-up, you know? Hopefully it's better. Double I'll be Dragon. honest, I never liked Double Dragon. I, I didn't either. I thought Double Dragon sucked. Yeah. Even as a kid. Like yeah. when Battletoad seen Double Double Dragon, I was like, "Oh, cool, two boring games." Yeah, but I, I, as a kid, I liked Battletoads because their fists got really huge and cartoony. <laughs> I no, if I was, was play, if I was gonna play like a beat 'em up, I'd play Ninja Turtles or like. River oh yeah, City those Ransom. were way better. River City Ransom was a million times better than any Double Dragon game. I don't, I don't remember River City Man. You never played River City Ransom? No, maybe, maybe for this show. Maybe we'll you should have played that like for the fucking games that everyone's played but you. I didn't know that was a game everyone's played but me. Probably I'm the only one who's played it here, but it's really great. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, moving awesome. on, we get uh, Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance for the 3DS. Um, so Not Kingdom a mouthful. Hearts. No, it's <laughs> it's incredibly long title coming out for 3DS. Another Kingdom Hearts franchise. So. Unfortunately, every Kingdom Hearts game relies on every other Kingdom Hearts game in order to be able to tell the story. No, no, so. no, 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 no. There's like, there's like eight Kingdom Hearts games. Yeah. And like three of them matter. But they like uh, the. I know the Game Boy Advance games had something to do with the Game Boy uh, Advance games is one of the three. It's Kingdom Hearts one, two, and then like Chain of Memories or whatever. Chain of Memories, yeah. And the rest of them are just like side stories. And three will be coming out soon. So. No. And then there's the prequels, and then anyway. Um. Then Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier, Arctic Strike. So that's like a <laughs> subtitle within There's a like subtitle. like five colons. <laughs> yeah. uh, and that comes out for the PS3 and Xbox 360. Then Deadlight comes out for the Xbox Live Arcade, which is a, uh, a pretty attractive-looking game. It's a cinematic uh, action puzzle platformer set in an apocalyptic American West Coast. Uh, kind of looks like a kind of grittier, more realistic version of Oddworld. Uh, yeah. And I, I like Oddworld, so. Uh, and that's... Oh, wait, no, we also get Total Recall for the PC. Um, oh, yeah. Then moving on to August 6th, we get uh, only one game, but it looked really neat. Uh, again, it's for the PC, and the only reason I'm going over it is because it looks really neat. It's called Symphony. Um, and it's based around the idea that your music collection is under attack from what appears to be like computer viruses, and you must save it from being corrupted. The game is very, like, Galaga-esque, but, like, each level is an MP3 that you own, 
and each level uh, is based around like the beat structure and everything else, and uh, it looked really pretty. There's been um, games that have done that before. There have um, been games that are similar. Surf? Yeah, and... but like they've, I, I've seen them be like like dodge the thing games or Monster Hunter or, um, but I've never seen like this Galaga style, and it was it was kind of. Audio Surf is like Xevious, I think. So it's like a 3D shooter thing that's based on your music. And okay. then there was um, that one game for PlayStation 1 that was like Japan only, but it, I played it. Obviously, I never played it. I played it here. It was like Vibribbon. What? I think. Vibribbon. It's like, it's really weird. It's like a rabbit walking along a line, and it's 2D, and it's just black and white. And look up videos right. of this. It's incredible. But All you right. put in your music, and the rabbit, you know, will, you have to press buttons and, and beat to whatever song is playing. And, you know, at the time, that was pretty impressive because it was, like, 1998. And, like, CDs were impressive. So. Right. <laughs> right <on. laughs> All right, then. Um, so, cool. Uh, not a whole lot more to talk about. Uh, August 7th, we get a game called Deponia for the PC, Persona 4 Arena for the Xbox 360 and PS3, uh, and Sound Shapes for the PS3 uh, slash Vita. Couldn't find too much information about those. Well, not about um, Eponia? Deponia. Is it about ponies? No. The world of ponies? No. Uh, yeah. Not. I, I don't remember there being much about. I think it was like just a generic Japanese RPG. Okay. Um, Sounds like it. August eighth, we get Hybrid for the Xbox 360 and Touch Battle Tank 3D for the 3DS, um, which is oh. like Battle Tanks for the Atari, but no, no, thank you. Yeah. And that's it for the new crap. Um, we can go ahead and get into uh, out with the uh, say out with the new and come in with the old. You guys want to do that? Let's do it. Sure. Let's, let's play Let's do our it. games. Cool. So um, this week we uh, all are playing superhero themed games as determined at the end of last episode, and um, we're going to kind of bookend some things, because we, two of us played games based around the same superhero. Um, so we're going to go in and take a look at these old games and see if they're this any is like good. like the evolution of the played. superhero game. So yeah. wait, 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 wait. We're yeah. doing superhero games? Yeah. No way. Oh, no. man. Well, I got yeah. a secret to share with everybody. Oh, no. What? Yeah. I... Oh, oh, man. What a coincidence. We have two shows where people strip for us. <laughs> <laughs> We're Dylan. Di- Dylan. We're Dylan. Go. Superman. Can you help me find Dylan? No, nobody cares about that guy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he flew away. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, tripped and That fell. was rad. <laughs> All right. Well, I was later. wondering why he was wearing a tie. Yeah, no, he was. He was. I thought he was just dressing up real nice. <laughs> All right. Oh. All right. Thank well, you for welcome, back. Superman. Yeah, I hope nice you played the game the show. this week. Yeah. Super D. Super D. Just keep oh, that in mind. Super D. All right. Cool. Um, so I'm glad to get of... that off. You know, I'm just dying of heat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to wait 25 minutes for that. Yeah. But, that's cool. Uh, so our first game, um, we're going to go in order from early graphics to new graphics. Uh, and Nikki is the winner with that one. So, Nikki, what what did you play this week? I played Superman for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Ooh, Ooh. now you're playing with power. No, it's boo is more accurate. Um... <laughs> I was told that it wasn't very good and was probably one of the worst games that I would ever play. And man, that was a damn good prediction because it is one of the worst games I've ever played. Right on. Wow. Um, oh, awesome. My <laughs> game was one of the worst games I ever played. So awesome. one of the worst games I ever played. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I guess we can get into the video because, sure. I mean, I think we all know who Superman is. Who? Yeah. Clark Kent. Oh my god, I knew I know, it. I know, I blew the lid right off it. I knew it. Oh, it's man. It's alright. I'm gonna go right. kill Lois Lane. <laughs> that bitch. Alright, guys. Uh, so, let's go ahead and start the video. Alright, Superman um, time. Play. 
So very Sweet. short intro. Pretty much tells you right where we are. And look at these graphics. Holy it shit. It looks amazing. Also, you guys, don't forget the push to talk thing. He can jump like a million miles high. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Our it's great. looks kind of like an Oompa Loompa. They all kind of look like Oompa Loompas. The music like, could go suck. Song. Wait, hold on. It's like chaos in my ears. Apparently, I'm facing, I don't know. Hi, Lois. Maybe from the Drew Carey show. <laughs> and he's talking to Lois, so. He's talking to Lois with his butt. Yeah. Oh, that's where Jim Carey got that's that idea. Superman power. <laughs> And that map, that wasn't helpful at all. <laughs> Hi, Lois. And so I, I turn to talking to someone else or so I think, and nope, it's Lois Lane again. But wait a minute. Hold on. So you, you like, okay, so you jump super duper high? Like right yes. in front of him? Yes. Man, good job with the secret identity, dipshit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Go out and get me some news. We have a deadline. Must be Perry White, I guess. I'm assuming that's Jimmy. <laughs> Hi, Clark. Your favorite cub reporter, Jimmy, here. I can see that, dick. Say cheese, click. What is going on? And so, uh, apparently pressing up doesn't get you through the doors. I learn later that it's down. And I'm pressing all of the other buttons, and nothing is happening. Oh, no. So, like, that... I don't know how to attack back. I figure it out eventually, but... What? Like, Who you have to be really enemy? close to the bad guys to be able to attack them. Are they supposed to be just generic mobster, 40s mobsters? That I guess reason, so. I guess they spit out kryptonite? And why can they even hurt you? Yeah. It's because well, you're Clark I'm not, Kent. I'm not super No, they have yet. kryptonite. I guess he killed the guy and kryptonite fell out, and that would, that would cost them to be able to hurt. But wait, why would they be shooting Clark Kent with kryptonite? They'd... Because he's <laughs> they a reporter, know. and they're, you know, <laughs> oh. communists from China. I don't know. Go in. Oh, now he's, now he's Rainbow Mario. <laughs> and so, like, apparently when you press a button, you make the sky flash, but that seems to not really deter <laughs> anybody else. He's Superman's weather abilities. <laughs> Super lightning. It's... <laughs> Superman is... Superman. Weather I don't know, you missed the eyeball. No, it's it's we that button. Eye. That oh. button causes Shazam to to turn into Shazam. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently you can't go down that way, so I'm like, okay, I'll make it lightning some more. Your weather brought to you by Superman. Yeah. So, where does Superman turn into Superman now? That there aren't phone booths anywhere. <laughs> like closets. Like in... Oh. So he comes out of the closet. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Why do all the bad guys have green shirts? Why do all the not super? I didn't get this part. I'm not really big on like oh, Superman zero, mythology, I'm dying. but I'll let you down. Is that like the bad guy of this game? I don't know. We don't yeah. get that far. I think I think they're from like the second movie. I think. I don't know. Oh well, this was Is based this on. Be the movie? No, this was just called Superman. No. Oh. It could be based on the movie. I don't know. I remember this part in the movie. Where he sort of like kicked in the air and just sort of slowly fell Well, I noticed that like he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't fly, but he can like float in the air kicking. Well, the, the mo that monster just jumped that as high as Superman. Jumps as high, yeah. Way to go with a secret identity, mobster jackass. He just leaped over a tall building. And now he's in Single black and world. white world. All right, yeah, go in that. You gotta go. No. Yeah, now I'm Clark Kent again. He punched what? you so hard he put clothes on you. <laughs> <laughs> he knocked you back to like 10 minutes earlier. Super clothes fist. Why did you move the video forward? I think it went backwards. Oh, did oh, you go backwards? Where are you? We're at 450. Oh, you went forward. Oh. That's alright, I'll skip to 450. Alright, so and back now to I'm Superman. Superman again. That's good. And lightning I can powers. Lighten it up, yeah. Well, this is just dreadfully boring. <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, it is. It is. It so it's is. A, and it's the same... It's, God, no, it's for like... a while I started thinking, is there like, you know, am I in a maze? Is there like a turnoff that I missed? Because What's the little this? down thing do? I don't know. That's I don't not know cool. what any of this stuff does. Cody, Superman, he just suffers from a lot of problems. It's not cool. <laughs> He's, oh, you can stand <laughs> on that, that building. Down thing. Yeah, I noticed that too. I was like, oh, cool, I can jump on the building. And so I tried to do it again, and you I couldn't do couldn't it. do whatever. Great. Use your heat vision. Murder this dude. That building is in the background. Why would you be able to jump on it? I could for a split second. 
This game is stupid. <laughs> this game <laughs> is no stupid. What are you even grabbing? I don't know. I thought they were pieces of kryptonite, but I guess they're not. Why would you want to grab that? I... Oh, Maybe that's Superman. Like see? Get him. Game. See? <laughs> Every single mobster in this game looks like Muggsy from Bugs Bunny cartoons. Oh, he wants to show that guy. Alright, go in the ladies' restroom. Oh. No, I want to be the Superman. Well, yes, of course. Why would you even ever want to be Clark Kent? I don't understand that. Clark Kent is a loser. He is. He never gets the girl. But then why would you want to be Superman walking along the ground? That's, you know, I wanted to be able to fly, and I couldn't. That's kind of an important part of Superman's, uh, you know, Repertoire. superhero thing. So what is the goal? Uh-oh. You can get to the next street using the underpass. Thanks, slut. Oh, boy. <laughs> And so I totally thought this was the underpass for whatever reason. No, <laughs> so this like, is I'm a gonna grocery go in here. store with monsters yeah. in it. Yeah, this is a gro this is a terrible grocery store. It looks like a the metal insane asylum. I, I like how there's no there's no civilians in the city. There's just mobsters. There's just mobsters. It's just, yeah, <laughs> mobsters and a whore. Superman, Superman, you have done a really shit job of of controlling <laughs> crime in this city. <laughs> Hunter jewelry. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got any news? Is that supposed to be like Jimmy Olsen? Oh, there's the civilians, I guess. <laughs> oh, look at that! Yeah, go back and talk to that guy again. <laughs> he knows nothing at all. Hey, what are you doing? Why does it fade out every time you talk to somebody? Because it was for the Nintendo, and they sucked at making games. Like, not the Nintendo company, but whoever made this sucked at making games. This was back when Nintendo had the seal of approval that was supposed to have meant something. Oops. Apparently you can't not. can't ride the subway with no pat. Ugh. Yep. You're Superman, yeah. why do you need the fucking subway? You hey, can fly. You right? Oh, I'm sorry, fly. you can We're glide so kick. Apparently, I've been told. You can slowly lower to the ground. Uh, oh, and new enemies! New enemies! And they're like in this hospital. Gingers, yay. <laughs> nope, peace out. Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> can, can Clark, like, kick and hover? No, he can... I don't know that he can do it as well. Die. And I don't know why I didn't go and turn back into Superman. I thought that was really stupid on my part. <laughs> punch, punch, punch. Why is it possible to keep turning back into Clark Kent? I don't understand. Their abilities don't really seem to differ. No. No, it's pretty much the same thing. Maybe there's an RPG element where... Oh. Oh. Apparently there's someone yelling help in here, and so I'm like, yeah, I'm going to investigate this. But there's no game. Did you kill the other guy? No, he's still over there. But like, it's Doesn't really matter. weird. No, like, you can't punch or do anything from far away. You have to get <laughs> Clark close. just looked like he got kicked in the balls super hard. <laughs> 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 All right, so that was Superman. That was awful. That was it so was. bad, wasn't it? It was. It yeah. Was. The, the graphic, music was driving the me gameplay, nuts. The music, yeah. all of it was just. So <clears throat> So, uh, you didn't like it? No. Yeah. That's too bad. Not approved. <laughs> okay. Well then, um, that terrible game is now done. We should now move forward into the next layer of, uh, of graphical superiority. Uh, moving on to Dylan's game, which is the Incredible Hulk. woo -hoo! Yeah, so tell us about your game. Well, it's about the Hulk, and... You smash stuff, and it's pretty awesome. That's why I picked it. What's this um, Is Hulk the one who does things with magnets? What? Yeah, he, he, <laughs> he's the guy who has control over uh, over adamantium claws. And... Oh, that guy. Yeah. yeah. That guy. This yeah. Game sucks. I thought Hulk drove the Batmobile. <laughs> he does that too. His name oh, is Hulk his is name cool. is the the incredible Bat Hulk. <laughs> What? Bat Hulk Vereen. Bat Hulk Vereen Nito. Driver. 
driver. <laughs> Sweet. I'm okay with that. He's Alfred but, too. Yeah, he was. Um, <laughs> he this game was for the Super Nintendo, and uh, it was all right. I mean, you just have to see it. Click that okay. crazy right. button, Matt. All right. Let's, let's uh, play some games. Okay. Okay. Now U.S. Gold. Like if you've ever played like any kind. Oh my God, Probe made this. Okay, that that was gonna come. Probe made my game too. Uh, oh, right <laughs> on. Yeah, but um. Oh, on. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, green muscles. <laughs> um. But yeah, no. U.S. Gold is just like classic terrible game company. Uh oh. <laughs> Why is he fighting the G.I. Joe? That blew up. Blew the graphics up. are quite odd, I think. This is... You know, actually, I think I played this game a long time ago. Oh. Why what? are the uppercuts not just exploding him on impact? What? Yeah. Yeah, the Hulk is pretty weak in this game. I'm pretty sure I played this game, too, and I hated it. I like how he walks like a boss. He does, and he climbs cool too. Look at him. He, he climbs like he was mo-capped. <laughs> Destructible environment. That's cool. There's a little basketball. Yeah, super, Clark Kent sees a phone booth and he's like, I'm gonna become Superman and get hit a lot. Hulk sees a phone booth and he's like, punch. Yep, and there's a T-coin. I remember those in the comics. Where's okay. your claws yeah. and mag magnet powers? Hey, there in that guy's face. <laughs> <laughs> I like how, you know, this game is just like, you know, fuck it, we're gonna get the sewer level done, like, immediately. Yeah. Stop shooting me with your bazooka guy in sewer Take for that no reason. Throat, you bastard. I like how I this... Like... I like Go that the story, the story didn't, uh, before the level, didn't really set this up at all. Like, this... <laughs> <laughs> it was just... Uh, suddenly, got to Kind of like the first Hulk movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just love that they explode eventually. Yeah. Oh, turn into a Hulk ball and roll in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's is for that's for something special. You'll see. Oh. Can you stop him? Uh. How did you not kill him when you landed on him? Come on. No. I know. I know. The Hulk is so weak in this. <laughs> but, like, why is it like taking? But yeah, man, fight to that groovy music, buddy. I'm the Hulk. I smash you in the face. Watch me walk like a boss. Oh, <laughs> keep up with my pace. <laughs> my butt. Yeah. Like, dude, just aim down. What? Why are you letting the Hulk duck and punch you? You're the shittiest fucking guard. And that guy, he, the Hulk punches him and he just runs right back into Hulk's face. Fists. Like, over, that one did it too. And where are you? What? I have no idea. Is this you're, is this a rooftop or a city? It looks like it would be rooftop, you're, judging you're, from the background. You're in Gotham, Cisco. <laughs> well, now construction <laughs> workers are like shooting shit at you. Cement balls. Hulk, you're gonna make us work overtime. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I do Ooh, remember wow. how often he fought on scaffolding. He doesn't fit. He would break it. No. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Look at that mesh. That is just graphically Man. intense. It's foreground. That's that's some high high tech stuff. Yeah, there are t at least two layers in this game. <laughs> at least two. Uh oh. Looks like you're caught between a rock and a green place. Uh oh. <laughs> Fuck that phone booth. Yes. What are we the team? I tried to hit him with it. <laughs> I was like so expecting it to be really awesome and you were gonna throw it at him and murder him. <laughs> I just set it down to watch my face. It. <laughs> uh, and Hulk doesn't even like why does Hulk climb down ladders? You're the Hulk. Right? Just jump. He's afraid of heights. Hulk's... And bazookas. <laughs> run, Hulk, run! So why do you have a purple and green health bar? Because once it gets down low enough, you'll see what happens. Oh god. Does I he turn I... into Red Hulk? I think nope. I remember. I think I remember. Oh. He and behind curtain Bruce number Banner. two. Oh, crawl away, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Get out, Bruce. Bruce, run. Oh, he can't even make the jump. You're dead. <laughs> I couldn't oh, I move. It sucked. I couldn't move oh. at that point. Oh, he made it. Uh. 
Oh. I got right in the back. <laughs> so physically fit. Oh my god. <laughs> Wish I had shoes. This so that's... Yeah. <laughs> There are points in this game specifically made for when you get hit enough to die. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Superman did the same thing. Like, you get hit enough and you turn into the shittier version of yourself. <laughs> oh, like, oh, oh, no! Oh. Oh. The, the death like, I'm of already Bruce doing Banner. badly enough that I'm almost out of health. Why would you punish me further? Good lord. Oh. Swim, Hulk, swim. No, yeah, punch the air. Swim. Keep punching the air. Aww. I wonder if these guys Worse. were like supposed to be robots or if they uh, they did the Ninja Turtle thing and just decided that destroying humans was a little bit bad so why don't we make them oh, these yes. are when they explode <laughs> <laughs> Hulk hits them so hard like their body parts just, just go everywhere there we go punch you right in the throat yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like these guys are so bad why did they just take it like, at least, like, move. Hulk's like, nope. That corridor sucks. Not going Oh, you just got owned? Oh, no. This is freaking hard. This was hard. This guy was like, the jumping. This ocean thing. You were trying to, like, slap him. He does a flyby bitch slap onto the Hulk. And he, like, shuffles up to you, too. Whoa! And you can't do anything. Like, rapid uppercuts. Hulky fuck. What the fuck? It is such a hard fight. Back up, Abomination! Shit! Oh, there we go. Bam. There it is. And he's only got purple health. Yeah, he should be Bruce Banner already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you beat the coward crawling guy. Oh, wait. Okay, oh, no. There not goes. sure. No! Well, what that's gonna matter. I like how you can just crawl through them and nothing wait, happens. Is that a gun? Yep. Oh, good. He has a way to defend himself. <laughs> this guy can't <laughs> fucking hurt you! <laughs> oh, no more. Two guy. shots. Yeah, that's, that's all my I get. favorite thing about the Hulk, when Bruce Banner would use guns. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, wait, what, what and where the Hulk do? Store where did Hulk store the gun? <laughs> <laughs> what can you even do in this fight? In his pecs. I think you have to I can run. And so I try to see if I could go on Neo on him and block all, like dodge all his attacks. <laughs> this is where he just decided to see how long it took him to die. Though it looks Bruce like Banner, you could live forever one. because Abomination doesn't know how to hit down. Yeah. If the goal of a game is not to die, you know. You win. Success. Yeah. Just... How, and how long do you just avoid this guy? <laughs> I don't know. I, I think I I just call it quits pretty soon. Oh, no. Now he's uppercutting. A lot. The, upper, the uppercut seems to hit you. There you go. Okay. There we go. Now round two. Let, this is going to be a serious fight. At least you got to start... <laughs> this is an epic fight. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's like Dragon Ball Z. Goes green. Where two guys slowly trade punches with one another. And... <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh. Yeah, he does that a few times. He l turns around and stays and like punches the other way, so I just come and punch him in the back of the head. That that makes it a bit easier. It does. I'll take it. Not the flying bitch slap. <laughs> no. God, I just want to see this guy's death animation. I hope he turns into like a little guy too, and you get to like stomp on him. That's not rampage. No, it's pretty disappointing actually. Oh, that's it. <laughs> he just kneels. He becomes. <laughs> he becomes the thinker. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Subservient yep. hole. Just walks off the and stage. Fucking more guards. Like after that, that's all you get. But what comes up next, I did not expect at all, because, uh, like, I just got done oh. fighting a boss, right? And this is just great what happens. Get in drive the jeep! The, drive the jeep. Yeah. Turn into Bruce Banner and drive the jeep. Hulk goes all ghetto, drives uh. the jeep, and then with the machine gun, do 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 do. Oh my goodness. Throw. He's well, you can't drive the jeep <laughs> now. <kill> you. <laughs> Oh, 
Hulk board. <laughs> Who gave the idea of, hey, okay, let's have a guy with a cement ball gun. <laughs> the cement ball cannon guy will be the the hard enemy of the stage. <laughs> Yay! So, you finally threw a car at somebody, so that's pretty cool. Right? I like oh. how the steel beams are rotating. Just like in yeah. real life. And so, totally. just crawl away to the finish line. Oh, thank god. I thought you oh, were stuck that, that was the button. You had to get shot to go down. <laughs> oh, of course. Use Superman! The phone, use the phone and call somebody to help because you suck in this form. Get a get a Hulk coin. What's a T? What is a T? Testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> and back into the fucking sewers. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Make up your mind, Banner. Wait. Come on. <laughs> this one always went a circle. Yeah. Like, this is a pretty slow part of the game, but the the ending is so worth it. Is Cody still with us? I'm here. Okay. My 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 webcam decided to be a bit of a jerk, but it's fine. There's like no music track in the whole game. It's okay. It could be worse. This music's not that bad. Not compared to Superman. <laughs> so I get to this part. Boss fight. Oh my oh, god. You're gonna oh, die. I got a gun. Oh, what the? What is going on? Oh, shit. <laughs> Run away. Crawl, my friend. Crawl. <laughs> <Eggie Murder. laughs> I, you. I tried to crawl the away. now belongs to the leader. His evil genius has triumphed. The Hulk has failed. The battle is lost, but the war continues. Nope. That's the green Afro man. Dude, oh, god. Hulk Party elevator stars. music. Congratulations, Dan! <laughs> and that was my game. My game. That that game was awesome. Yeah. Um, in a way I think that your definition of awesome and my definition are very different. <laughs> yeah. No. No. It was um, awesome, like on a scale of like one to one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. That game was just an abomination. So uh, and that's funny because he fought the abomination. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we, we can move into the next game. Hulk is lamest one there is. Um, <laughs> my game uh, is called Batman and Robin for the PlayStation and PlayStation One. I almost said PlayStation and One, but that didn't make any sense. Um, <laughs> Batman and Robin is actually based on the film of the same name. Uh, oh, this is gonna be awesome! Came Not out in 1998, world. I believe. Uh, starred yeah. George Clooney, uh, Uma Thurman, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and guy who played Robin, who no one remembers. Yeah, um, Chris O'Donnell. Yeah, Chris O'Donnell. Yeah. yeah. Don't don't worry, you'll be seeing a lot of him in this video. Um, <laughs> right on. Yeah. Um, this is game Mr. is. Is there too? Oh, he's here. He's here. Um, and I think Alicia Silverstone was in this one, but uh, we'll, we'll get to Alicia Silverstone. For this okay. Game. Um, yeah, Batman and Robin with PlayStation One. It's kind of a. Uh, mm -hmm. Behind the shoulder 3D, I don't know how to describe it. It's weird, man. It's this weird. All right. Yeah. All right. So Batman and Robin. Here we go. Let's play. From acclaim. Three, two, one. Come and get it if you can. Yeah, come and get it if you can. That was Shit. Emma Thurman. She wants me to come and get her if I can. Yeah. So oh, wow. this is Gotham City. We get advanced um, graphics right here. Yeah, man. Shit. Uh, I got some really shitty looking like head carvings, and this is this is like the one street, so this is bad for traffic because it's ruined. <laughs> There's Mr. Freeze and his uh, sort of hopper mobile. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have spoiled that because there's Mr. Freeze. As voiced by Arnold Schwarzenegger himself. You can tell. Like, yeah. I, you know, that doesn't even sound like an impersonator. That sounds mm -hmm. like him. Not at all. So, um... 
It loads for a while, and welcome to the Batcave. I've made it. Nice to meet you, Batman. Um, it gave me a lot of instructions, and I decided to ignore them. Cool. There was an email, and I don't want. There was an email in 1998. I don't know. I don't want to read it. It's probably really slow. I don't want to go on Bat America online. And it doesn't look bad for a PS1. This is a pretty late PS1 game. Um, I'm just trying to get the controls down. Uh, it kind of controls a lot like Resident Evil, um, which is a lot like how the Crow was. Um, I, I figured out how to punch. I have to hold down a button and I accidentally gas myself. Why do you have a, a gas Bruce Wayne chamber in your... I don't know. Well, no, I, I threw a gas game. bomb. I oh, said okay. press do to become Robin. I was like, well, of course I'm going to be Robin. Not oh, Robin. yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, you're Chris, you're that Chris is O'Donnell. The uh... <laughs> you are now Robin. You have leanness <laughs> and agility. Uh, so I guess I could walk around the bat cave, but uh, I decided to walk up here and see what was up here, and it turned out walking up here makes you leave the bat cave. <laughs> I was fine with that. Okay. Um, we get another little cinematic. So as you can see, we're around two minutes and twenty seconds in, and nothing has happened. Welcome yeah. to Batman and Robin. Welcome to every single fucking game I ever seem to play. Yeah. This show. That was the same uh, last happened. week. The difference is people had a history of loving last week's game. Yeah. Well, just get just. I have a history of not knowing this game existed. So. Yeah, a lot of people don't. Um, I remember seeing a preview for it, thinking it looked really cool, and uh, I was wrong. <laughs> uh, so here I am on my on my Robin <laughs> cycle, the Red Bird. Um, so now it's a driving game. I'm trying to figure road out how to drive. Rash, awesome. Kind of. Yeah. Like road rash. Turn left here. A Gotham is being mugged by a gang member. Turns out I have bullets. <laughs> Because <laughs> that is something Batman. Did you just murder? Oh, he gets out. Never mind. He's a, he's, he's a golem. He's golem from Lord of the Rings. Oh. I ran him down. Two reasons this game sucks. Yeah. And I think he's gonna try and punch me off, but instead I shot him and he fucking exploded. <laughs> what the fuck? That yeah, same rules. guy should <laughs> I'm like, hello, citizen. Die. Feel their pain. You just attacked a civilian. Feel their pain. No, I think it, it hurt makes my me health. feel more alive. <laughs> yes. Why does Robin have guns? I... Because would Batman have guns? I wonder. No. I kind of don't like that it tells you where you should turn and stuff. That. Yeah. You know, let the player get lost. Who cares? Listen, idiot. Turn here. They had GPS back in 1998. Yeah. I'm trying to run this guy down, but it's really hard because the controls suck. Yeah. So I decided to just let him walk into my blast. That's good. I like that you just decided to kill all the civilians. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Do anything but chastise you. I very quickly got bored with killing civilians and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go sort of explore the city. But everything seems to be like in this weird gated community that I'm in for some reason. Yeah. And now I'm in the now park. Like, park. Cars are coming out. Where there are more cars for some reason. I'll blow them up too. Because <laughs> I don't care. I'm Robin. <laughs> And there's like an armored tank, and I'm like, nope. <laughs> Man, this is this this is where Grand Theft Auto came from. This is this is before Grand Theft Auto too, which is crazy because it's yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's reminiscent of it. Trash boutique. <laughs> yes. The trash boutique, the garage for men. Um, so wow. the game told me to go over here because there's a crime happening, and uh, I can press do to collect the coin from the payphone because I guess I'm poor. Um, I can, <laughs> I can use a coin to buy newspapers. At the payphone? Yeah. It's you just see Batman and Robin go through all the payphones looking for change. <laughs> that was my favorite part of that movie. movie. That's how um, he made the money. I, I thought maybe I could go in here and like stop the crime or something, but I couldn't figure it out, so I got bored and left. That's good. I uh, went back over to my Robin cycle. The phone okay, box. what the, the fuck, man? Phone box. We're Wait. going to build. All right, we gotta do world design. We need Why to include. Why is trash boutique so? Trash fun. boutique. Ah, oh, bastard. And there's a lot of pop up in this game, but I think Cody's game will have a bit more. Good lord, what are you doing? We're not there yet. And so yeah, I'm just sort of driving around the city. There's clues and stuff, but I don't really care. I tried to run that tank off the road, but he wouldn't do it. 
I'm kind of amazed that, like, I'm invincible on this motorcycle, though. You would think I would just, like, fly off. If someone hit me with a car. Nope, now you're back in the game. Yeah, and I, so I kind of figure, like, no, nope, I don't really want to be here. This driving... Oh, the sound effects in this game are awful. There's going to be one coming up that I feel stands out. Um, it's, it's close to the end of the video, but you'll, you'll be able to hear it. Yeah, man, this actually, for a PlayStation 1 game, does have really good graphics. It's I not, just want to... Go ahead. Yeah, it's not does. terrible looking, but... It's not fun. I would just like to point out that, as a superhero, you have stopped no time. No, well, you've actually, you you've actually per, like kind of participated. I stopped yes. the mugging, but then I killed the guy who I saved. <laughs> well, that doesn't count. And so I found these prostitutes, <laughs> and they seem to be doing, like, cool flips. Hey, and I did a cool lady, flip, but up? I could never figure out how to do it again. Oh. And I figured, alright, it's time to fight. Why are they hurting you? I don't know. Why They're tumblers. They? There's a cat that meows around here somewhere. You're losing a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really doing very well. Fighting is hard. Robin doesn't hit the ladies. No. <laughs> he taps them. I tried to go out and get hit by a car, but uh, the game is just not programmed to recognize that. So much so that the enemies also cannot go into the streets. <laughs> So these ladies just punch me to death, and Robin falls, the ladies do handstands, celebration, the end. And get hit by a truck. Yes. <laughs> there is a losing cinematic. Of course. Um, wow. Mr. Freeze has apparently uh, captured the Bat Gang, Robin, Batman, and... Ooh! And third silhouette. Because that's not Alicia Silverstone as Batgirl, that's just no. like someone in a weird hood. Um, you get one life. And that's the end of the game. I you get one life? Wow. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to show this really quick. Credits. Why? For, For pro! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> There's like really weird, super deformed drawings of every single person who worked on Oh my on god, those are like those creepy, like, Korean internet dolls that were so big a few years ago. I want to collect them all. They are. Okay. So, Matt, what did you think of your game? I did not have fun playing that game. Um, right on. No way. I, you got to kill people. I, I did, just, just like Batman would have done. Um, exactly. <laughs> Living the looked, life. It looks like the best one thus far. It's probably the best game of this week, sadly. Yeah. Um, I mean, Hulk didn't look awful. Superman did. At least there were people to fight in in Hulk, in, yeah. in Batman and Headbutt. In Headbutt, yeah. There were only civilians to kill in Batman. Yeah, and I mean, I guess I could have gone to the museum or whatever, but that would have been boring and dumb. Yeah, I'd rather get kicked to death by hand flipped prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so Batman games uh, get better. Um, I don't know. Eventually, like they you get know, awesome. Arkham this, Asylum this shows one up. Was shit. All right, let's move into our second Superman game, shall Superman we? Superman games never get better. No. Uh, so my game was Superman 64 for the Nintendo 64, and it was a spectacularly shitty game. And, yes, it uh, was. Yeah. It's uh, easily one of the worst games I've ever played. Um, yes, it is. <laughs> let's get into it. So, uh, Matt? Are we ready? You want to count us down? Absolutely. It's going to be three, two, one. Play. All right. So, uh, here we have the fantastic uh, music of the front seat. And you will never find your friends yeah. in the virtual world. Well, first of all, why is there a virtual world? That wasn't explained to me. Then there's no if you want to save waste. your friends, solve my maze. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Fly through the rings for your friends. So, this is where I realized I wasn't playing Superman 64. I was playing Pilot Superman Wings 64. Uh, At least you can no, fucking fly No, this is like this Nights game. into Dreams. Shitty. This is really bad. You have to fly through all of these rings, and uh, that is the extent of the Superman game, pretty much. It is Why a... is the sky pink? I don't know. It, sky... I don't... it looks like I the don't... texture failed to load. It, maybe it did. 
The, uh, actually it reminds might. me of a really awful uh, Mac game that I had when I had a Mac at the age of eight. Oh, yeah, that's probably about right. This, uh, uh, you lose the ring, you lose Superman. Yeah, that arrow is like pointing to nothing, like, that is not helping. No, and the, I mean, the, the controls are so bad, they're touchy. Yes, they are. Yeah, and like, you, you. I guess they wanted to try to be, like, correct with physics. So, like, uh, if you have momentum and you press, take your hand off the button, you'll still go for a pretty extended period of time. Uh, so you can easily miss rings. And then you can't really loop around to go back and get them. Um, there are many times where I was like, fuck it, I don't need that ring. Who gives a shit? I like how the countdown annoying sound started at, like, 15. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, uh... You're not gonna do this, are you? You're not gonna complete this. Oh, of course, of course. Fuck Lex you, wins. <laughs> no. Yeah, the first stage was ridiculously hard. Then there's no time. Yeah, I was cursed. I actually cut out probably three or four extra tries of this stage. First, first of all, what the fuck does it mean? Solve my maze. This isn't a maze. No, it's just. First of all, there's an arrow pointing to where to go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So here's me trying to go down there and get it, but no. <laughs> <laughs> God damn hate, this fucking game! I hated this game get so much. This is just so are, depressing are you, to watch. Are you over water or concrete? I can't tell. I'm under concrete and over water. Okay, you got it, Superman. There, I finally got that goddamn ring. Oh, I missed one. <laughs> uh. Bumbling Superman is really Gotta get depressing. the rings, man. Gotta get the ring. <laughs> the controls are so shitty. And why does he fly like he's, like, stretching? I said that's a good uh, question. Uh. <laughs> Too much. He's gotta work out his muscles somehow. Yeah, Superman has to work out his muscles. Mm. Yes. He's naturally super. Or he takes steroids, one or the other. I'm not so, gonna make it. I'm gonna poop. Yeah. Oh, oh. So Superman flew through 4,000 rings. The world was destroyed. Yeah. Man, what is this about? Oh, like. I don't know why I'm flying through rings. Superman I guess. Superman has friends. Apparently put Lois into. Lane. No, there. It's Lois Lane and Jimmy Olsen, from what I was able to to get. But. I don't understand why they were put in a virtual world. Lift the Why cars? it evolved me. In five yes. seconds. Yes. So I have to lift two cars into five seconds. Uh, what? And they just drive away. I picked up the car by flying into it. Oh, I, now I have ten sec seconds. So I pick yeah. it back up. I pick up the same one, and apparently that ends up counting. I throw it at the oh civilian. Oh my god. So is this the same maze you have to solve? No, it's a different maze. Um, it's the exact same thing that I have to do, though. I feel sick. Yeah. So, uh, this I is where I was, there, I, there, I don't, I could, enemies in this game. Nope. Uh, not, <laughs> not, not in what I not played. Not till later. Not yeah. till later. Uh, it, it took me a while to figure out how to fly. The enemies kill you so fast, too. So I don't think, I don't think going through the rings matters. I think it's just get to the As long as you ring. get to the last one? Yeah. yeah. No, no, you have to go through all the rings. But I cut out time. the last one. No, well, you, you know, you can miss some. Like, you see the different colors? You have green, and then behind it is yellow, but further on down is gray. If you fly through a gray one, you lose. I cut out several... That is stupid. <laughs> yeah. This game is stupid. This game is really fucking awful. I had no idea what this had to do with Superman. Well, you are Superman. What do you want? Yeah, I guess. And you're exhibiting all of his amazing powers. Oh, is that a gray ring? Oh my god. There's no time to waste. Uh, yeah, that's when I was able... That, that that time is when I kind of determined that the colors matter. I hate this. I hate everything about this. This game is fucking just shit. It made me so mad. I was yelling the entire time I was playing it. About how Whoa. bad of a game this is. Whoa, back up. I do. Be super hasty, man. Come on. I was ready for this game to be over. <laughs> I'm like, just let me die or get through the stage so I can quit playing. 
Superman, the city's in trouble. Can you please fly through the waterways for a little bit? Yeah. That was the best part it, of nope. the video right there. <laughs> <laughs> Superman flies head first in the concrete. That's what this video makes me want to do. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys were out there thinking, I'd like to play Superman 64, what the fuck's wrong with you? Don't. Don't play Come Superman on, you're almost, 64. You almost solved the maze. Getting there. You're going to solve his maze. If you don't solve this maze, Lex Luthor will win. And then you'll have to press A button again. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to play the god. You have unlimited lives because this thing is so stupid hard. Every time I, I miss a ring, I get... unlimited lives? Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I was praying for a game over screen. <laughs> That game's pretty well done for the Nintendo 64, I'm not going to lie. I guess it, it, it you know... It's pretty I good guess. Case. It's just, it was really... Pretty shitty game. Shitty, though. yeah. That so game is the worst. That was yeah. uh, one of the worst games I've ever played in my life. Congratulations. <laughs> my god. That was yeah. awful. That it, made me hate Superman. I, yeah. It's so bad. Yeah, so do you still think that your version of Superman was worse? No. No. No, no, God, it was awful. <laughs> just was just mind-numbingly, insultingly bad. Yeah. <laughs> so, do I win the bad game award yes. again? I yes, every, you do. I always play the worst game. I don't. I don't yeah, know. you do. But anyway, um, so yeah, so that was it. Congratulations. For, yeah. Yeah. I guess. Good job. You got shoes. Yeah. I played it because I knew that it was supposedly bad, and I, I wanted to see how bad, but... Uh, very. Answer is I, very. I'm upset with my answer. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, normally here we would be going into who would win uh, to see uh, which video game icon would win in a battle to the death against another, but we're kind of out of time. So I think we should skip it this week, unless you guys disagree. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I'm kind of depressed from that game now. Yeah, yeah listen, this just makes me want to go. I like to end on a depressing note. Um, but <laughs> before we end the show, what are we playing next week, Matt? What are we playing next week? Well, I, I've put a bunch of uh, different ideas into the random game generator and uh, popped out with uh, a list. I'll just pull it out right here. <laughs> that was the sound effect. <laughs> Unwrapping it, decoding it. Hold on one second. <laughs> Reticulating splines. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're actually going to be playing. <laughs> this is stupid. Edutainment. Oh, God. <laughs> That's not a good one to get. That's dumb. That's what? What are we. F what? Education. Not games. Number Munchers, The Oregon Trail. Any oh, game oh that is educational. Trail, so that's out. Dysentery. Math. Mario Jack teaches Rabbit. typing. Yes. Mario, Mario teaches is typing missing. Is prime. Mario's missing if you never. Mario's missing is fun. Fuck that's college. actually probably <laughs> the best edutainment game. But, yeah. All right. No, educational games. Right on. So, guys, get ready to learn. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, tune in two How weeks from now. How bad we are at, like, fifth grade math. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, so, tune in two weeks from now to see that episode. And uh, until then, this has been Cartridge Lovers. I'm Cody Coleman. And with me is Nikki Wright, Matt Krua, and Dylan Frisbee. Until two weeks from now. Keep that on away. blowing. <laughs> Ha 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 